Hello everyone, welcome to the Geo Ecologist. I am Dr. Krishnanan and you have been watching my various videos on geography, environment and research methodology on my channel, the Geo Ecologist. Now in today's session on settlement geography, we are going to look into the trends and patterns of world urbanization. So what are the various trends where most of urban places are being created? What is the future of urbanization? What are the patterns? And many more things are going to be discussed in today's session. But before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to share the videos with others as well. So now let's understand the various trends and patterns of world urbanization in this session. So the term urbanization as we remember it denotes the redistribution of populations from rural to urban. So urban transformation over time as we know this is the urban progression of human beings. And now the fundamental difference between urban and rural as we know is that urban populations live in large, denser and more heterogeneous cities. Now these are the three important characteristics of urban places that they are large, they are denser and they are also heterogeneous. It means different people from different backgrounds come together to live in urban areas and as opposed to small, more sparse and less differentiated rural areas of the world. So if you observe this particular map of the world, here the world urbanization has been represented through these populations and these circles if you observe. So, where is the most number of urban places being created? Look into the Asia and Southeast Asia. This is the future that we say. This is the trend where most of urban places, new urban places are being created. And earlier urban places are there in Europe, in Americas and something in also Africa. So, what you observe here, the new trends and patterns is what we need to understand. But before that, let's take a look at the causes of these urbanization. The causes of urbanization like industrial revolution, emergence of large manufacturing centers and remember we talked about growth pole theory, multiplier effect, one big industry leading to the several ancillary industries and the proliferation of new technologies and development and then you have the job creation, job opportunities in the centers and then availability of transportation. Then migration, better infrastructure facilities in urban areas. These are some of the major factors that are driving the world urbanization trends and patterns. Not now, but has been doing it since the past. So let's now look into further urbanization over past 500 years since the inception of almost industrial revolution that we say. So what you observe in 1550, which part of the world was most urbanized? you'll see the city-states of Western Europe only. Rest of the world was all rural, right? Then you look into the next, that is 1900s, and look into the pattern that changes is, now you have transformation of the Asia as well with Europe and Americas, they are going towards the greener side. It means world urbanization is gradually picking up by 1900s, and major urbanization then becomes the American forte. Right, And then in today's world, you observe the density of urban places, urbanization, the percentage of people living in urban areas. This is 2013. So this is the transformation that has happened, the trend that you observe. And now this area of the world is supposed to be leading urbanization in the present century. So what you observe, the trends of world urbanization through particular data. So half of the world population live in urban areas as of today. and Remember one more important thing that 2.5 billion more people are going to be added to the existing urban people by 2050. So we say that most of the places by 2050 in the world are going to be categorized as urban, right? And most of them is being done where? In Africa and Asia, the developing countries right now, the third world countries right now where fast growth is happening in terms of population, in terms of job creation, opportunities, industrialization. So all the factors that we talked about. Now what you observe further is that in India, tier two cities, the second tier cities, right? So first tier cities like big cities, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, and then the two tier, that is the second level cities are having faster growth rate. So world urban areas are highly varied if you observe. And in India also, we have the second tier cities which are growing faster, but 
with it the problems of urbanization are also growing faster so what are the problems that we are facing with it is lack of jobs homelessness expanding squatter settlements slum areas inadequate services and infrastructure poor health and educational services and high levels of pollution these are the common characteristics of the developing countries where high rate of urbanization is happening so this is the flip side of it so then further what we observe is this urban rural population of the world trend 1950 to 2050 now this 100 years of trend will give us one interesting insight that if you say this is the marker about 2015 from here what has happened the rural population is dipping down and urban population is picking up right so this is the trend that is being analyzed right now and this is where we are right now so observe we are right now here where rural population and urban population are getting differentiated very clearly so the future by 2050 is top urbanization so then further if you observe future urbanization patterns this is what we get by 2050 from the same our world data if you observe so which areas of the world you find are densely populated in terms of urban categories or percentage of urbanization you observe the deeper ones darker ones are 100% urbanized but important is that which other areas of the world which are 60 to 70 to 80 percent urbanized they are forming the majority of african and asian countries and this is where the maximum number of people are going to be transformed from rural to urban so then what we observe in 1960 the global urban population was 34 percent which grew by 2015 to 54 percent and remember by 2050 it is expected to go by 66 percent and this is undesa data 2014's trend then further if you observe the process of urbanization affects all sizes of settlements not just smaller cities remember so villages gradually grow to become smaller towns smaller towns will go into larger towns and larger towns will become cities and then furthermore megapolis megalopolis conurbations so as we have learned the hierarchy of these systems so we know that this is the growth pattern that is happening and now further the global trend in urbanization is not the same in all parts of the world it means it is non uniform and that is one thing that we need to look into that this non uniformity would lead to lot of problems of developing and developing world the divides the disintegration of people and those other things to be taken care right so what you observe further that by 2050 if you observe do more people live in urban or rural area and this question is clearly answered here majority rural is only in some portions of africa asia but majority urban is going to be the entire world and this is the world divide that we are looking by 2050 and this kind of pattern that we observe on the world map is actually very important for sustainable development practices right so we observe further what that emergence of mega cities world cities and their role in global and regional economies now because these are the bigger cities which are now emerging with growing urbanization so world's mega cities are set for major growth that we observe and where is the world mega cities concentrated again in south asia southeast asia and americas mostly so this is the two pole of the world if you observe one pole is here and the second pole is here so world is again getting polarized if you observe these trends right so mega cities we have learned in previous lectures also crossing 10 million inhabitants or you say a metropolitan area tokyo yokohama if you observe these areas further if you observe there have been doubled over past two decades in last 20 years from 14 mega cities to 29 in 2016 that is what the number of mega cities have grown across the world so their development is more likely where rapid economic growth is happening so if rapid economic growth is happening in the world in certain places obviously it will lead to bigger level of urbanization and creation of bigger cities world cities mega cities so if you observe by 2035 there will be 48 mega cities as per projection so this is the world pattern changing and the poles are shifting from earlier europe and americas to asias and southeast asias so this is where the future is isn't it so it's very important to understand that this area if urbanization is picking up fast economic growth is picking up fast so also side by side the problems of urbanization will be focused in these areas which we need to take care so remember mass transportation system will be the biggest driver of this change so horizontal and vertical integration of the cities right because now cities are being congested so either you rise up it means tall buildings 
or if there is no chance of expansion around so cities are going to be then moving to suburbs so suburban development and furthermore so what you observe urban problems may be magnified in mega cities for example congestion waste disposal already such a big problem and air pollution lack of housing these are the bigger problems in the future that we observe here and further mega cities are frequently major global hubs of manufacturing and exports remember so for example shenzhen china delhi mumbai all these areas of the world are going to get more and more and more important so there are also the key markets so where is all the market situated now observe all the multi billion dollar industries are now coming to india and china because most of the bigger markets are here right so that's where the economy is shifting and with economy what is shifting is the rate of urbanization towards these places then further looking into the world cities if you see so london moscow paris berlin these are functional global hubs and what make these cities important what are these world cities called for remember they transcend their importance to the world it means they are not fixed now to these countries itself they have their own identity their own living places people from all walks of life across the globe keep traveling to these cities for work for job and for several other things so what you observe these cities have transcended the national boundary itself now they have become a world city not just a city in the country so that kind of concept is coming up and key global financial networks are very important which are controlled by these mega cities of the world the world cities new york london tokyo if you observe these are the world cities which are controlling the world finances the decision making across the world so decisions taken there has a global influence and that's a big point to make right so world cities may display full range of key influences now when we say key influences it is basically in terms of economic decisions world decisions they are coming from these bigger cities world cities of the world right so that's what we need to focus that what is the trend and pattern of urbanization that these world cities are going to be bigger their importance their power their control of the world is going to be bigger so this is where we need to take care of the planned urbanization to reduce disparity and also increase livability of people so in the future lectures to come we'll be also talking about the future cities livable cities sustainable development so all those things we are going to talk in the next lecture so now when we have discussed in details about the various aspects of trends and patterns of world urbanization in the sessions to come we'll be talking on the future cities so all stay tuned stay safe keep learning and do share the videos with others and don't forget to subscribe to our channel